Hey, welcome to another we're adding to the Jeep video. This year we're going to the Jeep Go Topless event, and I'm talking this top, people, this top here. And it is a good distance that we have to travel, so in case the weather turns foul on the way home, we want to make sure we have some kind of protection. So, we scored a brand new soft top on Craigslist. <laughs> we just checked. These things are now 1935 for the premium one. We paid 600 bucks. So, let's put it on. All right, so the first step in putting a soft top on is you gotta remove the hard top. Oh, we gotta pull these out. One. Two. Turn this. Oop, oh, turn this. Turn this one. And turn this one. Two screws, one here and one here that have to be removed. And this is what the two screws look like. It's gonna take you more revolutions to get them out than you might think. <laughs> All right, finally got those screws out. So you take the driver's side off first. One down, one to go. All right, and then just take the passenger side off. Now, the next thing you have to do, there'll be three bolts on each side. You need to unscrew them. And if you got the trusty little kit that it came with, you're all set. Plus you have to disconnect the window washer fluid and you have to disconnect the rear window defrost and wiper electronics. So we're gonna do that now. To disconnect the electrical, you got a red tab here, slide it to the driver's side, push in and pull down. Then for the window washer fluid, you've gotta get it, it's like an oblong where it's widest. Push in there and pull down to disconnect. All right, now we're gonna disconnect the bolts. Now, if you remember from our review video, and we will link to that video at the end of this one, if you move this, turn this, lift this, you will have places to put these. It's even Mark Roof. These are for the doors. One, two, three, one, two, three. The extra holes are in case you have the unlimited because you'll have two extra screws. Now, you put this back over, they're going nowhere. So, when it comes time to put the hard top back on, you're not going, I wonder what I do with the screws. They're right there. <laughs> Knowing us, we'll go, I wonder what, <laughs> what we do with, with the, the screws. screws. Yeah. We built this rack for our TJ to store the hard top on. We just had to widen it a little bit and we added some carpeting. You store a roof. <laughs> right, so if you got the three-piece freedom top, you should have got the storage bag for the two T's. Now I'm going to show you how these are actually mounted in the Jeep before we put the soft top on. All right, so it's going to come with this strap. You want the strap to go around the headrests on the back seat. Put this up against it. Clip it in. Strap it down. Welcome back. We decided to wait for a warmer day to actually finish putting the soft top on, but Mother Nature's not being kind to us. She's gave us this little break. It's been raining. We got right now, and that's going to start raining again. So we're going to try and get this on now. If you get your soft top from Craigslist like we did, you want to make sure that you get these two brackets because whoever owns it and is selling it to you may not realize that these go with the soft top. If you don't get these, you can't put the soft top on. In case you didn't get the bracket and the screws with your soft top, fear not, here's the part numbers to them. And I will have links to them in the description box below the video. Oh, by the way, the screw, that's per screw. You need four of them. Now, even if your Jeep didn't have a soft top, you're gonna have the two slots for this bracket. Remember the bracket that you have to make sure you tell them to get. <laughs> but the two slots are gonna be right here. What you do, follow the zipper down to the end, zip it up, open the door, pull this back around, and there's going to be two screw holes right here. Oh, let me check those out. Ah, oh, there they are. Now, right hand, two door, up. You really can't mess this up. It's going to mount right there. 
I said just put the two screws and put the top one in first because the bottom hole slotted. Now, taking your trusty Jeep <laughs> little toolkit that they give you, if you so got one, and away we go. And just finishing the bottom one. There you go, nice and solid. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, you're gonna pull it out, grab it around from the back, and just slip it right through these slots. And right here is a catch. You just grab it up underneath there. Pull the zipper down. Get it all tucked in. There you go, it's that simple to put that on. All right, same thing on this side. All right, the next thing we're putting on is the door surrounds. That's all there is to it. <laughs> There's a round peg right here, which will fit into that round hole right there. <laughs> and then we have these U-shaped parts. They are going to fit onto the roll bar with this cutaway in the roll bar cover. How convenient. Convenient. So we're gonna put the round peg into the round hole and then Get these lined up. Now, they won't stay like that. <laughs> That's what these are for. So, you gotta get up top. See with it, make sure it's lined into the holes. Can you even see? <laughs> yeah, I can. And then just tighten it down. Until they're tight. And you're good. All right, there's one for the passenger side too. It is the exact same process. All right, so what you gotta do next, tailgate mounts, looks just like this. This little lip right here, it's going to fit on that. Come up from behind, push it forward, locks right in place. Yes, oh, man. Yeah, right. Just line it up with the slot. And the other one's already done. All right, so we just set it on. Now we just gotta get the adjustments and then hook it up. All right, so we have these lined up where they're going to mount to that bracket. This one here has the Sun Rider sleeve on it. That one's going to the longest one. The other one's going to the shorter one. <laughs> now to get these, kind of just get it sort of over it and just tap it right until it goes in. Take the screw, put it in, tighten it. Set the screw in. And tighten. And then with an extra set of hands, we're gonna drape this right over the top. Right, so you pull the sun visor back. This is the latch. Once you do this, just temporary latch it on like that. I've got to do the other side too. All right, and then just temporary latch this one on too. All right, now just so you know, there's no test on this, but I told you this was called the header bow. I don't know if you can see that or not. This next one, I'd like to call the middle bow because that would make sense, but no, that's the two bow. Tubo. <laughs> and the third one across the back here could be the tail bow. No, nope, that's the three bow. <laughs> Obviously, there wasn't a lot of thought process that went into naming these. All right, so now that you know the nomenclature for the three bows, oh, one more. <laughs> it's the side bow. <laughs> <laughs> these here are called the sail panels. We need to pull down on the three bow to get them up into the retention area here. So just pull down. Come over here. No. You can see how it's sliding up underneath the body retainer? Yes. So. And there you go. Now it looks a little better. <laughs> it's not all up in the air. No, it's nice and taut. <laughs> all right, let me get the other side. Pull it down. Just set the retainer up underneath. Now it already looks like a soft top on it. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the rear window in. This is the tailgate retainer and there is a channel in it that we are going to slide that into. And there you go, it's that simple. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, we're going to zip this in, and then right here, these pieces are going to curl into the clips that we put on. All right, so, we start in the zipper. We're just gonna pull this one up. This is the side it starts on. Always. <laughs> and just zip it right in. Now to lock this in. 
let me show this up close. This piece here is gonna fit inside there. So you just take this. I know, you can't show the whole thing. Turn it and push it down. Then these retainers going right up underneath the clips that we put in. <laughs> Tightens it right up. And then same thing, retainer, clip it down and make sure that your sail panel gets retained the rest of the way. All right, back window is in. All right, next we're gonna put in the quarter windows. The zipper will start up here. So what you do, because there is Velcro too, just kind of stick it onto it just to hold it so that you can get the zipper started. I mean, it's not, it's not difficult to do. This here is the door retainer. You want to curl it around and tuck stick it, it in. in. Just tuck it in. All right, then continue zipping. All the way down to the end. Then what you're gonna do, this is where, where the body retainer is. Once that's all in, tuck this up underneath. Get the Velcro on it. Yep. Make it look tiny. Boom. Very, very nice. Quite a panel in. All right, now the final step for putting on the roof is going to close the header latches. That's going to put tension across the whole roof, making it nice and tight. As a matter of fact, it's going to pull the side bows down and you might hear the click as it clicks into place. Oh, I heard it. I did too. This one. And this too. I heard both of them click. <laughs> so, there you go. Now that we have it on, how do we take it off? Let's do the Sun Rider first. All right. All right, now to flip up the Sun Rider, disconnect here, disconnect here, and the same on the passenger side. Put them together. Now, up here is a sleeve. Can you see the gray sleeve? All right, so this sleeve up here is the Sun Rider sleeve. What it does is it allows this piece to flip back. There's an elbow under here. The reason it's right there is so that, you know, it will stay firm right now. So what you need to do is take it, slide it forward. Just like that. On both sides. Alright, now once you've done all that, all you have to do is just lift it up. Fold this material out. Lay it back. Aww. Alright, now Jeep has these straps that they recommend wrapping it around. <laughs> I don't think that's going to come flying back. <laughs> Especially <laughs> when you're driving down the highway. Alright, so that's how Jeep says to do it. But I know a lot of people just do it like this. <laughs> and leave it. And when they're done, they just grab it, pull it back. Yay! <laughs> All right, now that we've installed the soft top, showed you how to use the Sun Rider top, now we're gonna show you how to put this down, the whole thing. <laughs> I know, we just put it on. First thing to do, sun visors, come out. Pull the clamp back, do not let it release from there. Same on the passenger side. Okay, there we go. Now we head to the back. Next thing we're gonna do is we need to take the back window out. So we're gonna pull down on the three bolt and pull out about two to three inches of it. Just make it easier to get to the zipper. Expose the zipper. We're going to unzip. Now, you can leave this in. You bring the zippers up to the seam and then you roll it. And there are straps in there to hold it while it's rolled. You can put it down while it's rolled up. Okay. We're not gonna do that. So, okay. <laughs> Coming back down, open the tailgate. Disconnect. Disconnect. Unroll it. Just simply unzip it. Take it out and put it someplace safe. <laughs> you don't wanna scratch it. You do it. not wanna fold this. New folding. That will be bad. All right, now to take the windows out. And Velcro. When the windows are in, the zipper's always gonna be down here. You start here to take it off. It's, and up and around we go. Now, it's off. All you need to do, you need to open the door. And just a simple pull down on the bottom for the body retainer. Come around, 
out of the door, Tana. Window is out. The exact same thing with the driver's side quarter window. And then right out of the door, Tana. This stuff is easy. All right, now the next step, we gotta pull down on the three bow and pull out the sail panels. And then just roll them up on top. Next step is we need to release the side bow. So this is the Sunrider latch pedal, I believe they called it. So you just pull it towards you. Did you hear that pop? That I released it up there. <laughs> All right, and then the last step, just release the latches. All right, then it's just a simple matter of pulling it down over the vehicle. Holding it so that it comes in and looks decent. Just like that. Now, what do you do with the windows, though? Ah, uh, yes. The rear window can be rolled, as I said, but the side windows? Hold, please. So I'm using one just to show, but you would do this with both. Grab hold of the rear seat release, push it just slightly forward, take the narrower part, <laughs> and gently, like mailing a letter. And then when you're done, Pull it back, and there you have your windows. I started to get dark here. I knew it was gonna be kind of tight, but we did get it done. We showed you how to take the hard top off, how to put the soft top on, how to use the Sun Rider to come back. By the way, when, this, when you use the Sun Rider, take the back window out. You get a great flow going right through the Jeep. And last but not least, we showed you how to put the whole thing down for that convertible feel. Now, if this video was helpful to you, we'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments for us, you can post them down below. And if you haven't subscribed, this would be a perfect time to do so because we're still doing stuff to this Jeep. So until we do something else to this Jeep, the end.